I chose Grease for this year's school production because it's an amazing high energy show. It showcases the whole range of performing arts at Caterham School. So the whole cast of 75 singing, dancing and acting. I wanted to audition for Grease because I've done school musicals in the past and it's just a really fun process to be a part of. Um, obviously the actual show week is amazing, getting to perform for everyone, but also the rehearsal process, you get to like make friendships with people in other year groups. I have to agree. Yeah, because yeah, that's how we're like close because yeah. we've done we've so done many shows. productions together. It's something kind of different because I'm quite into sport. <laughs> it's quite fun as well and you can like be yourself. We have 106 students involved. So that's 75 in the cast and all of the others are either on the technical team or on the backstage teams. It takes me almost a full year. So in the February, that's when I start applying for the performing rights and looking at which show we can do. Once we get the rights, it then takes me a couple of months to kind of source the set and start thinking about the approach that we're going to take. Our set arrived here in uh, June. We then spent all the summer making costumes um, and preparing the rehearsal schedules. From the first Sunday in September, we start our rehearsals. And we have Tuesday, Friday and Sunday rehearsals. And for the last few weeks, it's been 10 till five on a Sunday. We have a full band set up. Um, so that's keys, kit, uh, two guitars, bass guitar and saxophone. So it, it involves coordinating an, an awful lot of people um, to get it right. So we've had band rehearsals for that. And then of course, meanwhile, we've had all our cast rehearsals with all the vocal music. They all have their individual roles. So you've got head of lighting, head of sound, um, lighting and sound, assistant, radio mic crew who are on stage making sure that all the cast have the radio mics on and the batteries are charged. We've got follow spotters, we've got stage crew. In the October half term, we have sewing day and anyone can come in, parents, people from the local community, students can come in and help us get those costumes together. And that's a really exciting day because that's the day when all of the costumes start to take shape. There's always a lot of support um, at Caterham School for Drama, yeah, along with all of the other performing arts. It becomes um, something that is very much a school production. This is something that the whole school can feel proud of and support. So there's a lot that goes on backstage. Um, so obviously hair and makeup is one of them, and then you have the props and the people who um, come on with the bigger bits of set, and they have to do that really quickly, so it's almost not noticeable. Um, and obviously we have costumes as well. Production like Grease just wouldn't be possible if you didn't have um, all of those things. I think Makeup for Grease was really amazing and it allowed us to like explore like really different ideas and do some research into what they wore and didn't wear in the 1950s um, and kind of just develop that look and change little bits up for different characters. It was really good fun um, researching it and applying it. Uh, there has been many challenging moments and sometimes I think they're the bits that are the most exciting. Getting Sandy off the table in one piece in the middle of You're the One That I Want. Dancing in high heels for the pink ladies. Some of the uh, spins and kicks that you see in the school prom in the hand jive have been enormously challenging and just trying to make sure that people don't get injured in the process. The technical requirements for this show. So just making sure that we can hear all of the performers. There's a long scene at the prom where there are bits of dialogue that happen with music underneath and you have to make sure that everything is timed to perfection so it all syncs together. If I had to name one challenge, I'd say it's probably doing the hair and makeup for boys because a lot of them haven't worn it before so they like scrunch up their face so it's quite hard to put them on it. The highlights for me uh, was in fact last week our rehearsals after school were just so much fun and both staff and pupils were just laughing so so much and it really felt like a sense of team spirit and that for me is, is what it's all about. Students that have never been involved in a show before or have never taken on um, a major role before and suddenly something falls into place and they, they suddenly become a performer. And that's a real highlight for me. And seeing students that are new to the school, so they joined Caterham School in September, are thrown into the chaos of this production from the first Sunday they have started at this school. 
and you watch the cast just welcome them, they become part of the family. And we have third years dancing with other six students and working together like they're all on the same team. I just think laughing with your friends and getting to see them over the weekend, although sometimes you wake up and you're like, oh, it's another Sunday, yeah, when you get there and you're like with your friends, it's just, just making memory. Watching the technical students blossom into being young technicians. Definitely encourage everyone in the school to get involved with all the different performances that goes on. And even if you're not the best singer, the best dancer, there'll be some kind of part that you'll fit in with. Like even if you get involved with backstage stuff, you don't have to necessarily be on the stage just to get involved in the process. It's, it's just such a great opportunity because you're all coming together to just do something that you absolutely love and you can see the goal at the end and you just really want to make it worth it and put in such a lot of effort into what will be an amazing performance. There is, there's always a moment when I feel so proud of what our students can achieve. The standards that they achieve are incredible. I would feel sad that it's all over, but it was such an amazing experience that um, I've just loved every minute of it. My highlights would probably be when Miss Faye gets really angry and it's quite funny. <laughs> How are you feeling?